Hello there and welcome back to my channel. I've missed you. Hope you've missed me too. <laughs> I'm in the car <laughs> with Claire. Hi. Claire Bear's back. Woohoo! Potty potty. Yeah. So she doesn't like being called Claire Bear. What will I call you then? <laughs> Claire. Claire's back. <laughs> oh, what are we doing today? We're in the car right now. We're on the way home from Claire. <laughs> Claire. Do Claire does Claire squared. We um, there's actually going to be a full vlog up on our joint channel, but it's on a lot. It's channel. a yeah, it's a lot of footage. So don't hate us if it's not up by the time this is up. Actually, no. On purpose, I'll upload that one first. So bear with me. It's up there somewhere. I'll put it down in a <laughs> little. <laughs> Scratch that. I'll link that blog in the description box down below. I can never say that. But um, yeah, we're on the way home from Clare. We did loads of fun stuff. We're being tourists in Ireland because we never are. We went to Father Ted's house in, I can't remember where it was. Craggy <laughs> Island. <laughs> We went to the Burren and walked around. That was fab and so pretty. All that limestone. Then we went to the Cliffs of Moher. Paid in, it was like eight quid a ticket. Fab, that was lovely. Although parts of it, they had like no fence and you were able to like walk right up to the cliffs. So people go, that's scary um yeah that's not fun anyway but we'll talk about something else <laughs> what else did we do that's all that's everything we did that's yeah. enough i pooped after all that like we didn't do much but then at the same time we did I sleep. it's tough work being a tourist i don't know how they do it oh we're in a place called ina now ina 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 ennis shout out to if anybody's from claire hey guys your county is so pretty and I kind of want to move here. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I could see myself settling down in Clare. Hmm. Would you welcome me? Yeah, any cute Clare boys looking for a girl? <laughs> Hiya. <laughs> so funny. Right guys, I'm gonna tell you this is funny. I downloaded Bumble like last week when Claire came to my house and I had a funny thing on, like obviously it was a joke, but I had a funny thing on about like pulling hair and because it was just a joke like, but then guys were taking it way too seriously being like, oh yeah, pull the hair out of your head and I was like, bye. Actually, this is too much information for my vlog. Okay. Whatever, I'm already in there. So if any of my family's watching, please just skip over this. <laughs> That's for 10 seconds. But yeah, so I was just like, I'm deleting this. I don't want any more weirdos messaging me. Like that would stop them, but anyway. Um, I deleted it and I just made a new bio today that says part-time boyfriend wanted skills good kisser big spoon can make good can make a good cup of tea and um, can tell a good joke and then the requirements were must have one plus years experience in the relationship department um, and then the second requirement was uh, preferably can drive but not a necessity and then what was the last one? Oh, no fuckboys allowed. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I think that's funny. If I seen on a guy's profile him saying like, part-time girlfriend wanted, must be good spoon, must make good tea. I'd be like, hey, that's me in a nutshell. So I just thought I'd do that. I'm amusing, leave me alone. <laughs> but yeah, so if you see me on Bumble, swipe right. <laughs> Only if you meet the requirements though, not just for like sake of it. I'm not that desperate. But yeah, we're heading to Supermax now and I can't wait. I'm gonna eat everything. Mukbang! <laughs> oh, oh my god, imagine we did a mukbang. Or one of like everything. What's your one's name that does them? Tr Trisha Paytas. She is the queen of mukbangs. Her and Shane Dawson's one was so funny. Oh my god. Mukbang, Supermax mukbang, coming soon. <laughs> Is it bad that I would? It'd be such a waste of money, but oh like my god. I've been in Supermax. Imagine. Supermax is my favourite fast food place. Really? I love Supermax. But no one loves Supermax enough 
to like get Supermax on the regular. Does that make sense? Or yeah. Just said, does that make sense? Where are you starting to notice that now? <laughs> I, I like. Claire always says like does that make sense after things and I only told her was that today or yesterday yeah, I told her Blanche. oh yeah I think it was a few or yesterday or the day before whenever it was I just told her I was like you say like does like does that make sense a lot and every time she says it now she's starting to notice it and she's like oh so I'm like saws you do you say a lot and then when she's not around I'm uh, like I'm like explaining things to people even my mom or dad and I'm like does that make sense and I'm like oh my god I'm Claire <laughs> I don't know why I do it. It's probably your way of saying like, do you know what I mean? Or like when people like, do you get me? You just say, yeah, does, does that, that make sense? sense? Yeah, like it's just, everyone has those things like that, that they say after when they're not sure if people understand them. I never they're like, do you get me? I've done that and no one's ever really? told me I've done that till you said it. Yeah, I've noticed it. I've noticed it and then I remember like I remember I was talking to Natalie a lot and then I was saying it a lot and I was like oh, I'm saying that a lot and she was like yeah why do you say you never say that and I was like oh it's because Claire she was like all right okay thanks <laughs> Natalie <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> love you <laughs> shout out to Natalie hi I know we shout her out in, the, in another one I think it was the best friend tag if you haven't seen our best friend tag go watch it I'll link that in the description below god I'm just plug 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 and left right and center here go watch this video go watch that video blah 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 I have to do self promotion. Nobody else can promote me. Self promotion. <laughs> self promotion. Isn't that the same? No, self promotion no. is no, no promotion. What's that thing? No. Oh. Edit this one. No. What's it? Is it like any? Is it like any goss is better than no goss? Oh no! It's like when people are talking no about you or something. No news. Good news. I don't know. Oh, that is one though. We're yeah. Just saying quotes no news. Is good this news. Is, this is an ending. Guys, if you can remember. Uh, what saying I'm thinking of? Comment down below because I can't think or tweet me or something. Does that make sense? <laughs> no, what were you saying? No, is that is that what you used to say? Does that make sense? Oh yeah, it does actually. <laughs> God, I think I'm losing brain cells. Oh, I think I'm losing brain brain cells as I speak because I'm so tired right now. <laughs> bear with me, people. Bear with me. I just need tea and cuddles, okay? I can't wait to watch Love Island. Is anybody else obsessed with Love Island? Please. Uh. We're like two episodes behind. Well, like one episode at the minute. Potentially for yes. two. Who's your favourite boy in Love Island as of now? I love Niall. I can't believe he's gone. Hopefully he's okay. Shout out to Niall if you're watching. <laughs> I don't think I really like anyone now that Niall's gone. Adam is an asshole in it. Hash, hashtag asshole he's Adam. Asshole. Oh yeah, he's hot. But that could only get you so far. Girls wise, who's prettiest? I like, is her name, is her name Taylor? That's the Australian one. Wait, oh shit, yeah. <laughs> I'm watching the Australian one as well and I'm starting to get confused with names. I actually haven't watched the Australian one in ages. Crap, who's in the English one? Girls. Um. Oh, the one that's 30. <laughs> God, that's the only one I can think of. My memory's so bad. None of them are that. Well, they're pretty, but there's no one like, whoa, she's amazing. Yeah, and there's no like really good couples in it yet. Maybe it's still because it's early days. Yeah, but like Kim and Amber were like together. Yeah, they were like lovey dovey really soon, like boyfriend girlfriend, like in the first week or two, I think. Sorry, I'm just trying to move my hand a bit. <laughs> we're thinking of doing a little question game because we're bored on the way home. We're like, what if we do 20 questions? I ask 10 questions, she asks 10 questions. And we just kind of make them up as we go, see where our brains go. Because usually when we have car chats, it's the most random but entertaining thing ever. So do you want to start while I start? You start. Oh God, okay. I don't have a confirmation name. You don't have a confirmation name? I didn't have a confirmation. What? I'm not christened. You're not christened? No. <laughs> oh, no way. I just thought that was such a normal thing to do in Ireland. Well, that's completely fine, because I'm not really religious either. I was just kind of baptized, so I just put, was put into like Catholic or Christianity, whatever the hell you call it. Oh, so you weren't baptized at all? Well, like that's we kind of cool. To, like get into school, but like we're not a religious family. Yeah. Like obviously, to get into school, you need to be christened. Oh, I think that's done away with now, actually. Yeah, they got rid of that. Now. Oh. But when we were young, so you're basically atheist. No, we had this conversation in the news. Agnostic. Oh, agnostic. Like my mom and dad. Are yeah, that's a good way to be. So, guys, I'm holding this camera arse My 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 right my left arm is really sore. Got to work on them guns. Why is it, but us getting stuck behind slow things today. 
I know, at least we're not in a rush, but no, although I am in kind of a rush for Steve Max. I'm getting starving. I'm not starving, you know, the, the hunger is on its way. Yeah. Right, question one. What is your favourite colour? Favourite colour? Green. Green. Wait, do we both answer the questions? Or do you I just ask you? What's your favourite My favourite colour is red. Red. Green and red. Okay, question two. Take it away. <laughs> do you want me to do a close up? Close up! What's. Anything at all. It what's can your be... dream car? I know the answer. Stop, stop asking the easy ones. <laughs> I can't think of it. My dream car like, is a Range car. Rover. Black on do black like on black on this? black. Don't fill in the car. Why not? You can't see the red. Oh, Oh, that 181 D. Yes, <laughs> there's 181 D. People are gonna get you that. Should, can you see the string of traffic behind this bus? Oh shit! Sorry, my finger got in the way. There's a lot of traffic back there, people. He's holding up. Shit! I'm hungry. I'm getting hangry. I need it. Food in my mouth. <laughs> it's Jacob. literally like when we were going stuck by that little lorry on the way up. The estimated Ugh. arrival time keeps going up. Uh, ETA, 20 minutes. Five minutes later. ETA, 40 minutes. Lovely. But anyway, what's your favorite car? Um, I think an Audi A1. Audi A1. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm the, not into cars. I don't know the difference. Me neither, but I just go what An A3 is a bit more like what I have like now. Oh, kind of like, like a hatchback. An, yeah, but that's got a little bit more of an arse. <laughs> but a junk in the trunk. Yeah, like it's it's a little bit longer than what I have now. Alright, okay. That'd be nice. And an A1 is probably like if you were to cut the boot off of mine, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does that make sense? And you're starting to notice every time you say it now. You're like, hmm. I think that's so funny. Well, you have to try and figure out what my thing is that I say a lot because I don't know what it is. I don't know. Do you know what I've noticed watching my own YouTube videos back though? I say, but um, a lot. You do. Like when I'm when I'm finishing a sentence or like I don't know where I'm going with everything, I'm just like, but um, yeah, and then I go on with it. <laughs> I'm Everyone like, does that I'm like, yeah, it's up to but yeah, I suppose yeah, because you have to think. I used to say but a lot. And I like realized myself, so then I became really conscious of the fact that I said but a lot. Yeah. So I like tried to stop saying but so. Yeah. So every time I'd say it, like I'd always think because when I was gonna start talking there, I was gonna start talking about but, and I was like, no, don't say but. <laughs> I'm like that with the word like, but I think everyone kind of says I'm the like word that like with a lot. The word like as well, and I want to stop saying like so yeah. much because it makes it sound like an airhead. It does. I was just about to say, but um, <laughs> I think it's just how I feel like the awkward gaps. Not awkward, but like silences that I don't yeah. know what to say. So I'm like, but um, yeah, and then I go on with something else. I was just about to say it again. Just do it. But, um, your system. It's in your right. system. Where, where were we? We were talking about cars. Were we? Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. So, so it's my third question. Yeah. Question three. What is your dream? Okay, wait. What's your dream, like, honeymoon destination? Oh. Yeah. I would have said, like, the Maldives, but everyone goes there now on their honeymoon. Where the hell is the Maldives? Oh, I've told you about these before. You need to Google them. They look stunning. But, like, I'd go to a secluded beach. Like, a beach Yes. Or like, just white sands, blue water. Mm-hmm. Girl, you speak my language. You inside my head. I just, like, live in, like, a nice little <laughs> Oh, stop, yeah. That's lovely. I'd like to maybe do like a two week honeymoon. Do like a week of something like adventure and yeah. like exploring. Yeah. And like a week of just. Make that shit last as long as possible. I'm yeah. going for a month honeymoon if oh I can. God. Fucking two months. You're expecting <laughs> big wallet, man. Brad Pitt, are you single? Yes. <laughs> <gasps> Brad Pitt, if you're watching. <laughs> yeah, he is. Brad Pitt loves me. What are you talking about? Don't be jealous. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> Sorry. Love you really. I don't I don't love Brad Pitt. Love Claire. Let's go Maldives together. 
Right, what question was that? That was question three. Um, oh shit, I have to answer it. Yeah. My dream. Oh, I see a dog. I see a pole. Do you see that? Can you see? Oh, no, you can't, I can't see it. My. <coughs> We're in Ennis. Hey, Ennis. My dream honeymoon, I think, is Greece. The more I think about it, because I just want to be, I just wanted to be like, I just wanted to be like me and my partner in the sun, also the shade so I don't burn, drinking cocktails on the beach, but like still kind of secluded and like, I don't know, just blue water, white sand, and Greece kind of like, oh, like, oh, rude. And Greece is just like, I don't know. I hope you were saying all that to the vlog because I was too busy concentrating on it. Oh yeah, no, I was. I'm talking to the vlog more than you. I'm not talking to you anymore. <laughs> so I do not know what you just said there. <laughs> That's okay. I'm just talking. I'm just, Wait, why is this? For tourists. For if they're driving on the wrong side of the road. What? Yes, because tourists, like every other country doesn't drive on the same side of the oh, road. Oh, so like if they're driving down this. Yeah. Should you remember when oh. we were going up the burn and there was someone driving on our side of the road? Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, Greece, I don't know why, I just think it's really cute. Maybe like Greece or like Lanzarote, I know they're kind of different, but like just somewhere with a beach that's private, secluded, but still like cutesy and it has like a culture. Does that make sense? I just said your sentence. Okay, question four. That was my question, wasn't it? So you have question four. So okay, an easy way to start this is that I have the uneven ones and you have the even ones. So four is you. You a work a bitch, don't get caught. I don't yeah. dance, money. I make money move. I don't dance, money. I make What's money like move. What's like your dream place to go to? Does that make sense? <laughs> Sorry, that was funny. I didn't think you'd say it so soon after. I slagged you. Um, like you can go anywhere in the world right now. Like no budget or like. Like, there's no issues, you can just hop on a plane and go there right now. Where would you go? Oh, it'd be caught between LA or New York. Ooh, or maybe Vegas, because if I didn't have to worry about the money. Ooh, which one, whichever one's more expensive. Probably New York is probably a ripoff. So, probably New York. Actually, yeah, New York is my dream. Let's go to New York. Although, there's more YouTubers in LA, so I could, then I could collaborate with Shane Dawson. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Shane if you're watching, hey! <laughs> He's not watching. <laughs> <laughs> you're so confident that He's not watching He's this. He's not watching this. <laughs> but um, yeah, probably New York or Las Vegas. If it was all inclusive, I'd go to Las Vegas because I'd end up spending more money there. Just New York, the accommodation. Yeah. Where would you go if you could go anywhere right now? Um, Like it goes like the rain. I'd love to go to a rainforest. Okay, that's a good idea. <gasps> I never even thought of somewhere like Vietnam or Thailand. But would they be expensive? I think they're actually really cheap. Probably, but I mean, we should go there like next year or the year after. Yeah. Yes. Okay, shit. This is this my question? Because yeah. that was four. What is your favorite brand of shoe? Like New Balances, Adidas, Converse, Vans, Heels. Flats, pumps. Runners are my favourite. Yeah, um, can't beat runners. I was mad into Adidas for a while, but kind of gone off Adidas shoes. I don't really like. I don't think I've ever actually had Adidas shoes. I own. Do I own the most Adidas shoes? I own. Yeah. Yeah, I own more Adidas at the minute. Uh, but at the minute, I think Nike are bringing out nicer shoes. Like Nike, I've always wanted Nike runners. Do you not have Nike runners? No. I have. I just have new balance. I have the Air Force and black and white. See, I'm very. I'm not into my runners. I like Nike mm -hmm. shoes. Like. Yeah, you're very vloggery with your runners. Actually, and all your clothes. You're head to toe like proper designers, and I think I'm head to toe pennies. I'm not designers. Well, well, like high end shops. Basically, not pennies. <laughs> my favorite shoes. See, like, I would have always said Converse, but to be honest, I haven't worn my Converse in months. Converse are the most comfortable shoes I've ever wear, though. 
Like, they hurt my soles when I wear them for a long time. Really? And they squeak, yeah. They're the only shoes I've worn like when traveling and walking around for like hours. Yeah, I don't know how you I do not hurt. I don't know how you do that. The more I buy shoes now that I'm getting older, I only buy like memory foam ones, like new balances. I bought a new pair of Puma ones that have memory foams. I basically I'm getting all about the comfort. I'm such a granny. I should really start wearing my Converse again actually. Yeah, I really want to get ankle converse because all of mine are high tops. I think that's what's turning me off them because I'm into. I used to only wear high top runners and no low, 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 low ones. But now I'm only into low ones because I like showing the bit of ankle because that's a thing now. Like that's a style. All the girls do it. Like wear ankle snappers because we're all expecting floods. Like it is Ireland. But like I need to get low cut converse. Do you know what? I'm just gonna stick with my love. I'm just gonna still go with Converse. But sorry, Converse, I do have to buy more of you. They are the most comfortable. Yeah. Shoes. Like, I wear mostly my new balances. Because but, when I yeah. was in, last time I was in Copenhagen, I wore my Air, my, like, Air Force to walk around and my feet were in so much pain. Really? Yeah, I've not worn any of my Adidas ones walking around. Although, my feet aren't hurt today after my Adidas ones. But if I drive yeah. for ages in my Adidas shoes, like, you know, the ones that are like quite fun. At the end, yeah, like my NMDs, they my feet like kill me. Driving really, yeah. Whoa, I wouldn't have thought that. I would have thought the foam would be like a cushion. It's just when I'm driving, yeah. But like today, my, my feet are actually fine today. I've worn them all day. That's good, right? That was four because I couldn't think of one. But that was five. It's yours now. That was five. Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was five. Yeah. They're on six. I didn't think of one. What's your favorite clothing brand? Is it bad that I don't actually really buy like clothing brands? Like, what's your favorite place to shop? Mm. Or where do you think does like the nicest clothes? I think I only shop at Pennies. Is that bad? No, it's not bad. If it does, yeah. It I does, think it's yeah. just for like easiness. Um, I'm trying to think. Where else? Oh, I'm starting to really like TK Maxx actually. It is pricey, but I like going there just for treats or like staple things that like you'll wear again. So yeah, pennies for easiness, but TK Maxx for like if you know what you want and then you find it, it's good kind of thing. Yeah. What about yours? Um, I love either Pull Up Bear or Bershka. Mm, I've never actually shopped in either of them. They're actually reasonably priced. I've been in them with you and they're quite cool, but I'd just be afraid that they're expensive or something. No, they're like, like I mean, trousers are like 20 euro there. Like 19, oh, 19. so it's kind of like River Island prices or something. New look. Not as expensive as River Island. Oh, that's good then. What is your favourite Yankee candle scent? Black coconut. Black coconut. Mine is, what is it called? Oh, the cherry one. The black cherry. Is it, is it black cherry? Actually, yeah, I think it is black cherry. Ooh, black coconut and black cherry. Yes, meant to be. I was gonna ask that like two questions ago, but then I said no because it was on our channel. Hmm. God, with the rate we're going at now, I don't think anybody. We're not having good luck these days, guys. We're having some boy problems. But I used to think you, but now I'm starting to think me. I think you. Even though. I still don't want one now, but like just the net, like the, whoever's gonna get there first, I think it might be me. Just because I'm more of like an old soul. Well, no, we're both old souls, and we're both kind of like hopeless romantics. But I don't know. Maybe I don't. I don't actually know why it'd be me. I think you, because I don't want anything serious. Yeah, I think maybe I'm just looking more than you. Yeah. Maybe it's because I've just been single longer than you. Yeah, like you've had this lifestyle for a lot longer than me. Yeah. This. This. Like in a few months, it'll be basically coming up to three years. That's crazy. It actually flew in, didn't it? Does it feel weird being single for three years? No, I've actually really enjoyed it. It just feels normal. Like I feel grand. I, to be honest, I needed it. I've been in serious relationships. Yeah, well, I remember when I met since, you, you were always like, like I'm always like, I'm yeah, I was the girl who was always in a relationship since I started. Like since I started like secondary school. When I was like 13, 14, I was always like on and off with people. And then I hit 15 and I was in like a three-year relationship. 
until I was 18. And then I was only single for 10 months before I got into my second relationship that lasted like nearly two years. So I needed a break. I don't know how I did that. And since then I've been single three years. So I'm loving my life though. Early I'm mad that I'm only single like six months. Yeah. Early 20s. I feel like everybody should ha should be single for at least like two years in their early 20s. I mean, unless you're very happy in your relationship. Oh yeah, toast. Like unless your guy is like completely perfect. <laughs> perfect. If he trusts you, if he's loyal, if he lets you be you, if he kind. then that's okay. If not, live your life. Be single. Don't be afraid to be single. You don't need anybody. You don't need no man. Yeah, seriously. It's you so You are amazing. What, what's that line? Oh, what is it? You are beautiful. It's like, it's like you are magnificent. You are awesome. <laughs> I love that line. And her big green nails. She's like magnificent. Do you know she's on Instagram? I follow her on Instagram. Is she? And she does like motivational like, videos being like, so, like, there's one where it's just her hand, and she's like, You are amazing! <laughs> you are brilliant! <laughs> I love it. I need to follow her. I need her in my life. Oh, imagine she did an Instagram live. <laughs> she's like, You are amazing! <laughs> right, what question was that about, uh, about the relationship? Yeah. That was seven, wasn't it? Yes, you even. Okay, so I'm eight. Shit, you threw me off now. Sorry. Um. What is your favourite lipstick colour on a night out? I used to be all about red lipstick. Yeah. I don't like red lipstick anymore. Really? Every time I wear it, I think I look tacky. Oh. And a bit trappy. You don't though. And I'm loving just like a good nude lipstick. Mm, can't go wrong with a good nude. I used to be obsessed with red a few years ago. Then I switched because you were always wearing plums and kind of dark colours. Then I got obsessed with that when you started getting obsessed with red. We kind of swapped. I was always wearing dark lips. And then actually, I don't really wear lipstick anymore. I kind of just either go for nudes or else lip balm. <laughs> a good nude. Yeah, maybe we're just growing out lipstick colours. I just think a good nude, because then if it like wears off, you're also like... Yeah. It's fine. You're safe. Not, it doesn't really like... Do you know how red stains your lips? Yeah, and plum colours do as well. It looks... Like, so you have to stay on top of it, and it can get messy if you're kissing someone. Yeah, it's just not... You, you, can, you can't really wear coloured lips when you're single because like you never know if you're going to meet someone and you might be like mm. so yeah but um what was that was that question eight yeah so nine is it uneven so that's me is it yeah okay what is your <laughs> run out things. I was going to say, what's your favourite county in Ireland? Was that a bit... That's, you just pick your home county. What's your favourite tourist attraction in Ireland? Yeah. Or like, thing to do? Gunratty Castle. Ooh, Gunratty Castle. I've never been. Oh, we'll do that next. We'll do that soon. I think my favourite thing would be Tato Park. <laughs> or the zoo. I love the zoo. Oh, the zoo. I love the zoo. Yes. Ooh, last question. You for last question. Is it t 10? I thought we were doing 20, like 10 each. Oh. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Uh, oh, I'm confused now. I had a question in my head, but I forget it. Sorry. Were we distracted? Yeah. Can't wait for Supermax and Love Why Island. Why are ordering Supermax? That's my question. Good question. <laughs> what am I going to order in Supermax? Either a chicken fillet burger and chips with a Coke or. I don't know. Oh, a beef burger. Oh. Is it bad? I kind of want to get loads of food. When we get there, I want to check my bank and see how much food. Do you know what I'd also like to get though? Like, like an actual like bits of chicken. Like not a bucket of chicken, but oh, I'd so eat a bucket of chicken at the same time. Can like, we get maybe like a our snack food box? And then after, can we get a chocolate muffin and ice cream? <gasps> yeah. Oh my god, I've been craving ice cream forever. Can we get a chocolate muffin and ice cream? I've got to get a chocolate muffin. Yum. Oh my god, I'm excited. Super I'm going to show you the picture of me in Obama's Plaza. Yes. Oh my God. I'm going to show you that actually in a minute. Because Claire said she's on the wall um, in Obama's Plaza in, where is it? Moneygall. In Moneygall. In, where is Moneygall? Offaly. In Offaly. <laughs> yeah, so that will be funny for the vlog. That's going up. 
But yeah, other than that, I might actually finish it up here because my bone memory is probably going to be really full and I'm too broke to buy a new one. So as of now, we're back. Toodles! It's so annoying.